third recording of this video uh, originally it did not record properly uh, the way I had my settings in OBS and the volume was messed up then uh, I exported it tried to do 4k export and it was taking like three hours to process the video and I accidentally exported it in 1280 resolution and I had won that one so now we're gonna go back and try it again today it's Sunday, first day of the NFL again, which should be interesting to see what the teams are going to do. Uh, I just want to watch sports, and so I've been watching Premier League. I'm also a footballer fan, the English football. So it's been a good weekend of sports, not too bad. All right, so this is John Tiller's uh, Panzer Battles, Southern Flank, Battles of Kursk. Um, very tight war game, and one of my favorites. If you are itching for a game that's as close to a board war game chit hex encounter that you can get, then this is the one that you're looking for. Uh, just real quick, we had a new follower yesterday that uh, accidentally got erased off video, so I'm going to play the follow real quick. EB59, thank you for that follow yesterday, 16 hours ago. Appreciate it. Uh, okay, so we're going to try this again. This is the tutorial scenario, and um, johntillersoftware.com is the URL for this game. This is going to be the tutorial. It's five turns, and we are forced as the SS Panzer Grenadiers... Totenkopf to take an army barracks. It's a focal point for Soviet assaults. And we want to break out of a bridgehead. And we must clear this barracks as soon as possible and anchor the left flank. I've only been given a few hours. There's not a lot of smoke in this one. I'll show you how this game works. First, let's take a look at the toolbar. This is a medium sized toolbar that I have set up here. Uh, in my settings, well, first we have to pick the scenario, but I'll show you that later. So the toolbar is set to medium, and they've changed a lot in, the, I think, the third update or second update. Tiller changed the toolbar to this cool modern-looking thing. Um, so let's go ahead and get the scenario started. All right, the tutorial, I play it usually using the tutorial. The game has uh, a ton of PDFs, I'll show you real quick here, that come with it. Um, so you're definitely not left out in the dark. So if you look here, I don't know if you can see this, there's uh, design notes, um, there's the user manual, the getting started tutorial, the visual order of battle guide. The getting started tutorial uh, looks like this. Let's go to one page. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, I don't need basic tours. I just rebuilt my computer so a lot of this crap's popping up. So you can see it's got color examples and stuff like that. Now, whenever I find the tutorial, follow the tutorial, though, I don't get the same results that they get with some disrupteds and things like that. So you're probably going to see me kind of follow the tutorial, but not. I'll do kind of what they suggest. Um, but you can see it's pretty in-depth. And they also have in here the normal user manual, which, well, where did it go? Uh, covers all of the mathematics and what goes into the combat. Um, it covers everything. So he's got, if you want to get nitty gritty about morale, um, all that stuff, you can dig down into the rule book and see everything about the game. And this is a big rule book. We're talking 
106 pages. So this is not one of your simp RTS war games. When people say PC war game, they usually point to like World of Tanks or some crap like that. This is a real PC war game. That's what I mean. Hex encounter stuff. Not like real-time strategy Age of Empires. Um, so yeah, you can get pretty in-depth with that. There's also a built-in order of battle editor, a built-in map editor, all bunch of stuff that you can literally design your own stuff. There's also the program helper here, which covers like all the menus in the game. It shows you what all the menus and the dialogues mean. So there's several manuals to get you started. Okay. They recommend uh, Russian AI we're going to be going against with Fog of War, and they recommend turning off low visibility air effects because if you leave that on in this scenario, you're it's misty and you're not going to be able to use your stukas, and they want to show that as part of the tutorial. So I'm going to uncheck that and leave that off. And I think then we're okay. All right, so the graphics are going to load in. Let me see if you can hear that here real quick. Got some audio. Yeah. Is the desktop audio playing? That's what I'm wondering. Um, let me just double check real quick. Not sure if it's picking up the desktop audio. I hope it is. There it is. Okay. I think I had to adjust my volume a little bit. We definitely want to get a little bit of it in the background. All right. The actual... When it does the artillery and things like that, it's extremely loud. Okay, this is the general setup. Now, you can scroll in or out with the mouse wheel. And this is as zoomed in as I can get it, unfortunately. I wish it would go even further. That would be awesome. But All right. Uh, we're on full screen. Um... So across the top, he's added these new icons. And some of the basics are, for example, uh, labels on the map here with your towns. Uh, you can zoom in and out with these keys if you want. Order of battle, highlight an org. Uh, division markings, um, I do have on. Division markings, if you look at the counters, watch the counters closely, you'll see them turn colors uh, according to the divisions that they're in. Okay, and I forgot what the blue stripe on the unit means. Uh, maybe loaded? Uh, no, I can't remember. Are they loaded right now? I don't think so. I can't remember what the blue stripe means on the left side. I know we got some veterans of the series out there, but I don't remember. So if you remember, kind of let me know. Um, yeah, the volume, though, shouldn't be that low. I don't know why it went down that low. That is low. It's at negative 34 decibels. Why? Alright, that's better. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with that. I hope it's not louder than me. That was the problem I was having before. That is a little bit loud, huh? Alright. I'll see how that goes. Hopefully it's not too bad. Let me just check that real quick and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I did have that pretty loud, so I apologize. All right, so uh, we're going to keep the desktop sounds down just a little bit. All right, so like I was saying, this is the toolbar across the top. Now, the settings I have on are blink on hotspot, scrolling with window edge. Uh, I have the hex outlines turned on. Uh, the sound effects, background sound, initial view. Then here, you can see how it scrolls when I move the mouse. The map labels are on. Contours are on. Slopes are on. Supply sources are on. Objectives on. Um, divisional markings currently on. Contours, you can turn those on or off. So if I hit that, you'll see them disappear. Now you can see them again. And also the thing to remember is I have, where is the settings for, ah, here. Hex shading turned on and contours, colors are set to dark and widths are set to three. So the width for the contours are a little bit 
wider so you can see it. Now this game also has um, NATO symbols that you can switch to, okay? And you can also switch to this alternate units graphic, um, oops, that makes it top down like ASL type thing, but these are pretty ugly. Uh, I just go with the standard uh, artwork. I think Volcano Man did the mods for this. I'm not sure who did the artwork though. I think it's Volcano Mods. Tiller ended up bringing him in because he just made the games look so much better. So uh, I believe that's the story. Anyway, so you can click around the map and select hexes. When you click on a hex with a unit, you'll see the unit info pop up on the left. It tells you how many men, movement, the morale. Morale is kind of like a unit's going to lose morale as it takes fatigue and damage. And you want to back that unit out of the front, move it toward the back, toward an HQ to help recover morale and help it recover from being disrupted. And the unit's going to regain fatigue as long as it does not move, get attacked, or do anything. So sometimes you'll have a big battle and you're going to have to pull your units back toward the HQ. And the HQ has a command range that uh, it can do, you know, communicate with units and help disruption and things like that. Uh, so if you right-click on the thing, you'll get a full breakdown of the, you know, Panzer Army, SS Panzer Corps. It'll break down everything that's a part of SS Panzer Grenadier Battalion 3 motorized. Uh, it tells you the Army, and it goes smaller and smaller toward the top. It tells you the hard and soft attack values, the assault value, if it has any anti-aircraft, things like that. The hex, if it's red, it's receiving a road penalty, I believe, or an overstack penalty. Uh, and you'll see, like, uh, white yellow red for that and you can also turn on up here combat modifiers for each hex you can see this barracks is a nasty minus 50 percent you can also take a look at the elevations and you can do a lot of this stuff with the buttons up here now which is pretty cool uh, if you want to see your artillery assets you hit the artillery button or control b and it'll show you what you can fire this turn we'll get to that in a minute and we have one JU-87D Stoffel ready to go for an airstrike. Um, now, if there's multiple units in a hex and you want them to move, you'll select the hex and you'll click on the units you want to do something. You'll see them get a yellow border and then you can take them and you know, move them out and leave something behind. And there's also uh, travel mode where you have to mount the artillery and move it, etc. And you can do all that through here or you can come up here and um, I think there's a travel mode icon up here somewhere. I'm used to using the menus, so I'm not even totally familiar myself with some of these. There's a travel mode. You can save movement costs for firing out here. Or was it? Change travel mode. All right, so the tutorial, we need to take this barracks in five turns. Down here in the lower left is the... Time of day, the year, whose turn it is, what turn, the conditions, day or night. All right. Uh, okay, so opening moves, they have us doing some artillery strikes, I believe, if I remember correctly. I'm not going completely through it. But we're going to have to soften this area up, and you definitely want to try to disrupt units. When a, You'll see a unit get disrupted, um, and that's the best time to assault a fortified area, so to speak. All right, so we're going to open with, uh, so you'll see as as the fight results come in, when, when you shoot, you'll kill men, they'll accrue fatigue, and the morale will start going down. So you'll want to watch and see if men get killed, you'll see this go down, and they'll show a percentage of how effective the unit is. This is 28 movement points. Each hex is a certain amount of movement points. Uh, so a lot of times the results aren't too exciting, but they add up. I'm going to turn off fast process, fast AI processing for now because when this is on, it flies, especially if you have a quick computer because I want everyone to see the results. Later on, we can turn it on. All right, so opening up, let's barrage this hex. So you'll select the hex, click artillery up here. Your cursor turns into this targeting cursor. Right-click once this top artillery unit is going to fire on this hex. That is a very good result. So that's the first time in the scenario I've tagged that many people with an artillery shot. So seven men killed, 
and you don't know what's in the hex because you have not moved to recon it. We know there's less than 10 guns, X guns, and a, less than 100 men, XX men. All right, one more shot here, this uh, artillery regiment. We're going to fire this on here. All right, so we killed a total of nine men. Now, we're going to save the mortar for smoke. We don't want to do that. We don't want to use it just yet. All right, let's plan an airstrike. Highlight a hex, click your air power. Hit OK. It puts a plane marker on it. That means there's going to be an airstrike. It is not immediate. There's a delay. So usually hits at the, I believe it's the end of your combat when all the combat goes through. So be careful that you don't airstrike a hex. Well, be careful that you don't shoot and kill everyone in the hex, right? And then move into the hex and then you airstrike your own hex, which I did yesterday. Had it on video, but the video sucked. Okay. Now we've got some separate guns here that we want to fire. So we're going to highlight the hex, left click, select these two guns, hold down control. That turns your cursor into a targeting cursor. That's fire mode. We're going to fire on this hex. So we're going to fire these two guns, control, right click. You can choose what you want to hit. I mean, you're not going to directly target that, but that's where you know, you're hoping to land on that. I want to take these guns out because they're up on a hill. They're going to see everything. All right. Make sure we got the sound there. So your movement points are down to 58. We can fire at least twice more. Okay, we're not getting any effects. We're down to 30 here. Let's fire again. Not having much luck with these guns. Okay, and they're out of movement points. Two is not enough to fire. I, uh, the parameters, I think... Um, this is a file that you can edit. So movement is all going to be in here. This is where you can come in and really tweak things. Ah, movement costs. So you can see here, clear is six movement points. Uh, and this kind of tells you, you can look at this, before, you know, anytime during the scenario and go, oh, okay, maybe I... Maybe I can't make that bicycle, foot, horse, motorcycle. So all of your values are in this thing called parameter, parameter data, and you can actually edit this stuff. So it's pretty cool um, if you need to look at that. All right, so these two guns are done, and I think there's a way to highlight uh, units that have fired. Uh. Okay, anything that's used movement points, if you click this, it'll highlight and turn yellow. All right, now this gun. Again, same thing. I got. I want to take these guns out. Every time I play this tutorial, this is the third time I've had to play it, these guns are a headache. We're going to keep firing. 72 movement points, 36, and we're going to take some counter battery fire. See, he's able to pick me out all the way up there. Last time I played this, I won. It was a minor victory. Zero movement points. He's done. Um, all right. Now we're going to lay some smoke. We want to cover. The smoke is as high as one elevation. Okay. So if you drop it here, anything on here is going to see right over it because it only goes up as high as this level. So we're going to drop some smoke. Bring up your artillery. Change it to smoke over here. Hold down control. Oh, I'm sorry. When you're in this dialogue, it's already set in fire mode. All right, so we're going to drop smoke here and here. Then we're going to take this unit and this unit. Go one, two. Now, they're going to take some fire moving into this hex. I need to get these guys into position to do some damage to that um, barracks. All right, this smoke should help against these units, whatever's in there. I'm going to move these guys um, up. I'm going to move these guys up. So I'm going to select the unit, right? Right-click, and they move, and move. Okay, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come over here, and we're going to take these two guys, and we're going to move and move. And we've exceed stacking limitations. Got to be careful there. 
they're going to take these guys here and they're going to replace the other unit in this trench. Can I get a shot off? I can. These guys, they might be able to get one shot off. If you double click a hex, you'll select every unit. I'm going to right, I'm going to control right click here. Uh, line of sight blocked. See that right there? That elevation blocks line of sight. Okay, there's not too much else we can do. Uh, oh, I might want to bring these guys out. Let's sneak them around. So here's a contour where it goes up. I'm going to sneak them around the base of this little elevated area. Okay. Now we're going to end the turn. You're going to see the computer go. And he's going to take a lot of pot shots at us. So let's see what happens. And you'll see him, the red, the red line will shoot at me. You'll see the little explosion thing. And that's how you know kind of what's going on there. Um, all right, so let's watch this unfold. Oh, before you do that, you can save your game. We will return fire automatically. Now, toward the end of this, my plane's going to go. You'll hear it come in. We're taking a lot of pot shots. We're losing some good men here. It's a crack SS division, but... You see that gun? It's hitting me from way up there on that hill. I hate that gun. All right, the plane's going to get shot at. Oh, I lost a plane. I lost the plane. The plane managed to drop its bombs and take out three guns, uh, but that's brutal. I've never had it where I lost a plane. I have been intercepted before, but that time I flat out lost a plane. So, good job, Ivan. All right, turn two. Check air assets, none, artillery. Let's lay some artillery down. We need to get this gun here. So, we're going to fire on this hex again at the beginning of the turn. I usually do, okay, four men. That's a good shot. And let's take a back shot here because this gun's kind of annoying too. All right, we caused fatigue. Now, let's take a look at units that got shot. Uh, morale has dropped to B, 66% efficiency. They lost a lot of men. Their fatigue is up to 59. They took the brunt of the damage. This one still got fatigue 20. Morale is A, but this unit took some hits. Uh, this unit here is okay. These guys lost some men. These guys got pot shotted from up here. I don't know how they saw them. This this elevation's higher, I guess. Um, you can see what they can see by looking here. Oh yeah, see. Uh, if you click visible hexes on the unit, you can see that he can indeed see these guys right here, and these guys, but not these two. All right, so we're gonna we got to take that out. This is ridiculous. I'm down to two guns here, so. We really need to just nail. I might drop in a. No, no. All right, you know, we're taking counter battery fire. I'm just going to see if I can get something done. No. These two up here. Okay, we got one gun there. Good. That's a good result. No effect. Taking a lot of counter battery fire. No effect. No effect. Well, okay, let's, uh, now if I fire, I'm going to get fired back on, um, let's drop some smoke. Uh, I'm going to try something different this time. All right, we're going to move into the smoke 
And uh oh, we've uncovered some units. <clears throat> I'm going to be aggressive or more <laughs> aggressive. I'm going to be more aggressive early uh, in this one and move up and try to. Oh, okay. Here you go. We have a disrupted unit. All right. So I have disrupted this unit. When you're disrupted, you cannot move toward the enemy. You can't assault. You can't do a lot of stuff. You kind of have to back off and get undisrupted or recovered from an HQ unit. So I know I've locked that target down. I want to try to take this maximum machine gun out here. So I'm going to highlight these guys, and we're going to control right click, and we're going to go for that machine gun just to see if we can take a pot shot. We killed someone there, but now I'm getting retaliation fire. I can go again. I'm going to try to get this a little bit earlier than I did. It took me an hour the last time, but I did a lot of talking also. Uh, all right, let's try to soften these guys up here. I'm going to attack these guys. We're going to direct fire. Ah, disrupted. That's good. That'll lock them out of coming up there to save that barracks. Now, even if I get on the barracks, of course, the Soviets could attempt to assault me before the game ends. Um, okay, I disrupted that. That's good. So th these guys are going to be locked down. So I know he can't come toward me. Excellent. And that's just their bad morale, really. I wonder if I should just go for it. Uh, let's move these guys up. All right, I cannot assault. I'm out of enough movement points. We're going to assault the hex. There's going to be some pre-assault fire. There's going to be a lot of it. And we're going to go assault, resolve, assault. Okay, he lost 12 men. I lost 5. We did not take the hex. And we did not disrupt. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that... Oops, I turned off the contours. I'm pretty sure that this guy cannot fire. He's only got 8. Let's try this guy. So we... Click the stack, we highlight just him. Control, right click. We're looking for a disrupt result. Taking a lot of casualties. All right, we're gonna fire on this hex with both these units. We just need one disrupt to help this assault. Now these guys are in the open, it's not gonna be good. All right, they fired. These two guns have not fired. Let's drop that on the barracks. Oh, line of sight's blocked. Okay, let's go here. Line of sight's blocked. Blocked. Ah, oh, shit. All right, let's go up here then. Wow, that's about all I can do, huh? All right, this guy has not fired yet. We have a new target up there, but I can't see it because of the line of sight. Again, let's try to aim at these guns. Ugh. Not the best results, really. All right, now for this, I'm going to turn on fast AI processing. I want you to see the difference. All right, we're going to end the turn. There's not much more I can do. My assault did not work, and let's now watch how fast this goes. Now, you're not going to see every result here. All right, we do have some smoke av available. All right, so I'm in position now to try something, uh, anything. So let's, uh, we're going to have to try to bombard this hex. I got to get some sort of a disrupted result. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, we're getting some kills. Let's drop some smoke. Um, here and here. And we're going to immediately go to assault. We're going to order them to assault, and they'll take some fire. We're going to assault from both these hexes. Okay. We're going to resolve it as soon as we get done with the counter fire. Assault, resolve. And we're in. No, we're not. Okay. We do have a disrupted unit. That's what we were looking for. That's good. Now, look at my units. Morale B for both of those. And morale A, morale A, morale B. Okay, we're going to fire these units, direct fire. We're going to highlight them all. They've got one good shot left in them. Control, right click. We have a disrupted unit. Let's try to disrupt that other unit. That's a hail of gunfire coming in. 
Luckily, my morale is better than theirs, so I can take a little bit of the beating here. Um, and we're going to fire on here. We've got to disrupt that top unit. Once you get a unit disrupted in a stronghold, the assault is so much easier. I also do not have air power, so... All right, these guys, I don't think we need to move them up, so let's take a direct fire. Let's start laying down some suppressing fire and try to get a disrupt result on one of these guys. Eh, not the best. And we'll pop this Maxim machine gun again. I'm just trying to get this machine gun disrupted or something. I'll show you how the victory works here in just a second. All right. These two guns onto the barracks. Can't. 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 Cannot. Cannot. Uh-oh. I blocked my own line of sight. Well, that's a noob mistake. All right. Let's fire back up here. Man, I hate that stack. I think they have you drop air power on these guys in the tutorial. I can't remember. All right. Uh, not the best turn for me. So let's say I want to move these guns. If you highlight the stack and you toggle this, it puts them in travel mode and you see movement 58T. Now we can move them out. I'm going to try to go up an elevation. They're going to take some shots here. And I'm going to switch them out of travel mode when I get to the top, higher elevation. Oh, well, let's see what they can see first. Yeah, that's a lot better. Um, well, where is it? Yes. Now I can, now I can see that hex. Okay, I'm going to take them out of travel mode. They're going to take some fire because they're doing something. So the guns moved over. They were wheeled that we towed them up an elevation into that, and we're going to try that next turn. Um, can I, do I have a shot here? No. So I'm actually going to move these guys up. You can tell I'm kind of desperate, right? To hey, we got a gun, so immediate. We're gonna we're gonna you know immediate uh, result there. Um, that is the 44th SS Panzer motorized, and they were able to get some kills. I think we are kind of out of options here. Got one more shot here. Okay, nice. And we have no air power, and our artillery has fired. Okay, um, I got about one more turn to accomplish this. All right, we're going to go fast AI mode. Just kind of watch the screen and see who moves where, and let's see what happens here. Okay, oh, victory. All right, if you want to know how victory works, you can see supply sources, the Axis supply source. If you click on this, we'll highlight here, and if you click that hex up here, you can see... Uh, the source 90, that's the supply level, and if you right-click on a hex, you can see what's next to it, river, medium bridge. That's how you know how to blow a bridge. So if you look here, if you move an engineer unit here, you can tell it to blow this bridge hex side. Um, victory is here. Uh, if I score at least 50, which is basically take this 50-point hex, I get a minor victory. Right now, I'm suffering a major defeat due to casualties. So they've lost 140 men. I've lost 112. And they don't like that because my units are very expensive. So I need to get that hex. So let's end this turn and let's watch. All right, he's got some reinforcements coming down. And a lot of them. Oh, I disrupted those guns on return fire. Oh, we have air units. Okay. Beautiful. But he does have some reinforcements coming down, and he triple stacked the hex. I, I, I mean, we don't have it. We're going to nail this hex with some air fire. And let's artillery bombard top hex here. Still no effect, but, well. And we're going to need some more smoke. We'll do that later. Um... 
I'm going to load up these hexes. We're going to take a lot of fire in this hex. It's not going to be good. No smoke. All right, we're going to drop the mortars directly on the barracks. And I know I said don't assault the hex when you have an airstrike, but I need this hex. We're still not in. All right, we did take out, they lost 44 men. We did take out a unit. There's still a disrupted unit in there. All right, let's fire. I'm going to have to do this on the very last turn. So this is way different than what I got last time. This guy cannot fire. Oh, we have a disrupted unit. All right. So that's for the first time we have a morale D unit. Uh-oh. We lost a unit. And they're dead. Okay. That's not good. Someone just got whacked. That hex is hurting. I may have been a little bit too aggressive here. Um, so do not, definitely do not take lessons from me. This is more to show everyone how in-depth this game is. And you definitely don't want to play the way I just played this. All right, we know these guys are ready. What? All right, we know they can hit that hex. And they can lay fire on the barracks. That's good. <laughs> That's probably the only best move that I made was getting these guys up on a higher hill. Not having a lot of luck here, really. Probably some bad assaults that I made. I'm um, just doing some firing and praying. All right, we disrupted those guns. If these guys take a lot of damage, I'm going to have to back them out. But they are in some rough terrain there, so let's see if we can score. That elimination is going to give them a lot of victory points. All right, we eliminated the gun unit. That's good. Okay, uh, this is turn four. I got one more turn to really pull this off. Uh, he fired. They are both done. The mortar's finished. All right, let's see what happens. The airstrike is going to be huge. That is a lot of fire I'm taking. All right, here's the airstrike. No effect on the planes. 20 men X. We did it. Okay. One artillery unit is unavailable. Probably ran out of ammo. No units became undisrupted. We did it. We, we eliminated everything. We have to do the assault now. This guy needs to get the heck out of that hex. We're going to pull him back. These two guys are in good fatigue, good morale. They're going to be the ones that have to take this hex. Um, these guys are still in good morale. They're also going to assault. And the bottom unit here is going to open fire here. And then we'll lay some artillery down on that barracks. Actually, I may lay it down on the hexes around it because he's going to try to assault me probably. Oh, I'm taking a lot of fire. That top unit's losing men. I really shouldn't have done that probably. Um... All right, let's resolve the assault and get into this hex. We got it. Okay, that's 50 points. We are in the hex. There's a lot of men. It's a four stack. Um, yeah, we're in the red. So we're just going to, we have to though. Uh, he pulled back. All right, let's get these guns on here. We need to do as much damage in the surrounding hexes so that they can't line up to try to assault me back. I don't think they can take the hex with their their strength and their morale, but you never know. This is a direct all-out firefight now. Uh, these guys are getting some losses here. That covers... Yeah. We might have to pull these guys back. And they can't. Okay. 
it's a it's very costly movement on this map it's nasty terrain it's marshy rough trenches elevations all right let's get these guns into business we want to shell the heck out of this hex because he's building up you'll see him during the fast ai process where he tries to stack up around me and prepare for an assault come on guys they're really dug in all around this these barracks I got nothing here right okay and last but not least let's take a shot on the maximum oh they're both disrupted let's try to eliminate them okay uh air units we don't want to land them there let's airstrike this hex we have no air units we do have some artillery all right let's call it down here and here and here all right i'm going to take off the fast ai processing so we can see what happens this is the final turn this is it uh let's check our victory currently i have a minor victory just by four points all right here we go and let's finish this game up all right so this is going to be a little bit slower all right i'm in the barracks returning fire on his unit see see him try to he's going to try to assault me see him try to build up there Oh, yeah, we took a destroy. We got him there. Good. Oh, boy, he's coming in. In this scenario, if it goes on more than five turns, it would be extremely nasty because he has a lot of reinforcements. I've seen the map after it's over. I may have lived through this. Due to the... Oh, here we go. Yep, he's going to shoot at the barracks. We're firing back. He's laying it on. We're taking some losses here. Disrupted, good. If he's disrupted, he can't assault, so that weakens what he can bring in on me. Just a nasty fight here. And if this were to go more than five turns, I'm not sure how I could even hold this, really. My guys are beat up. So this last turn, it's a flurry of gunfire, just a lot of it. A lot more than I thought it would be. I apologize for it. Okay. No, I thought maybe it was over. Now, these guys are duking it out down there. They're just shooting back and forth. Oh, the disrupted guys are even firing. Okay, that's it. Let's see what happened. I won by five. I had a minor victory by five points. And there's your victory music. I took a lot of losses. I lost 195 men. And when the game's done, you can see uh, everything gets exposed. And you see the Soviets had a lot of mortars up here. Um, a lot of dug-in guns. So, and let's look at the men that they had. Oh, they still had a lot of guys in these hexes. They definitely outnumbered me. So, it was a close game, but I actually pulled it off. Uh, okay, so that's just a sample that is John Tiller's Panzer Battles Southern Flank Kursk. And that is it, folks. I just wanted to post that up. And we're actually a little bit shorter than before. And hopefully this sounded okay and everything was all right. All right, and you can see where I rebuilt my desktop. All the things I got on there. 
All right, everyone, thanks for watching. And uh, next week it's going to be Fall Blau by Compass Games. Back to board gaming. All right, have a good one.